Hey everybody, okay, this lesson is part two of module eight, conditional relative frequencies. And we're also gonna be doing what's called uh, finding possible associations. So don't forget all your lessons can be found at mrmathblog.com. And once you get there, make sure you click the integrated math one link at the top, okay? All right, so a conditional relative frequency, this is just a continuation from the last lesson. So if you're with me in the last lesson, we did that, I just backed up a little bit. So. Then I assigned you that for your homework right there. So, so here we go. A conditional relative frequency describes what portion of a group within a given, uh, uh, with a given characteristic also has what's called another characteristic. And this is one of those other definitions you're going, what? Um, but I'd feel guilty if I didn't read it to you. So uh, conditional relative frequency is found by dividing a frequency that's not in the total row or total column Remember, we're doing our two-way table by the total for that row or that column. Okay, well, maybe you can make sense of that, but I'll, this example will clear it up. So use the joint relative frequencies to calculate the associated conditional relative frequencies and describe what each one means. Okay, hmm. All right, so we're going to find uh, the conditional relative frequency that a person in Ken's survey prefers soccer given that that person is a girl okay so here we're gonna here's our table right here so we're talking about this one right here so the person that prefers soccer given that it's a girl so we're gonna take uh, that 18 right there the number of girls who prefer soccer right here and we're gonna divide it by the total number of girls okay so the girls is right here so the total number of girls is 36 right there Okay, so we're going to do 18 divided by 36, so that means 50% of the girls um, uh, in Ken's survey prefer soccer, uh, given that they're a, they're a girl. So 50% 50 50 of the girls prefer soccer right there, okay? So find the conditional relative frequency that a person who prefers football given that that person is a boy okay so uh here's the football ones right here so we're dealing with um, um uh, this one right here the boys that prefer football given that it's a boy so we're going to take uh, the number of, of boys who prefer f football and divide it by the total amount of boys so it's going to be 20 divided by 44 all right so 20 divided by 44 you getting the hang of this right there you guys so it's 0. 0.454545 so that's what this bar is right here so move the decimal over two places so 45.4 uh, percent i'll take 45.5 percent if you guys want to round doesn't matter to me okay all right so find the conditional relative frequency that a person prefers basketball given that that person is a girl okay so we're dealing with this one right here the girls that prefer basketball given that it's a girl so six out of 36 so we're going to take the number of girls who prefer basketball divided by the total number of girls okay so i get about uh, uh, 0.16 and the six repeats so we'll round that one up to uh, 1.7 so move this over so it's 1.6666666 so 1.7 right there okay all right, you guys get the hang of that right there. Okay, so finding possible associations, you guys. So so we started, I'm just uh, picking up in the last lesson, you guys. I forgot what letter we left on. So that, that's why it's way over here in section uh, H right here. In the last lesson, I tried doing this all in one lesson and it just became too long. So I split it up into two. So that's why we're on H right here. So determine preferences by gender right here. Okay. So, Ken is interested in the question, does gender influence the type of sports students prefer? If there is no influence, then the distribution of gender within each sport uh, preference will roughly equal the distribution of gender with the whole group, okay? So we're going to analyze um, uh, the gender, what percent uh, we had of the gender right here, and we're going to see if, it, if there's any discrepancies right here. So determine which sport gender is more likely to prefer, okay? So let's first analyze um, uh, the data about girls that were surveyed. All right, well, first, you guys, we need to find the percent of all the students surveyed who were girls, okay? There were 36 girls and there were 80 altogether, so 45% of, of the people surveyed were girls, okay? So we want to see how does uh, the girls uh, in the sports reflect to that 45%. Okay, so we're going to determine each conditional relative frequency. So of the 20 kids who preferred basketball, okay, here's the 20 kids that preferred basketball, six of them were girls. Okay, of the 32 kids that preferred football, 12 of them were girls. And of the 28 kids that preferred soccer, 
18 of them were girls. Now we're going to compare that with the 45% of girls uh, overall, okay? So when we do that, so there's uh, the 6 over 20 is 30%, and the 12 over 32 is, seven, is 37%. Okay, let me go back to that chart right there. 6 divided by 20 is this guy right here, and then 12 divided by 32, and 18 divided by 28. We're just focusing on the girls in each sport right there. That's where we get these numbers right here. So here's the, uh, the conditional relative frequencies. 30% uh, of girls preferred uh, uh, baseball, 37.5% of girls preferred uh, football, and then 64.3% uh, preferred um, uh, soccer. So now we're going to interpret the results by comparing each conditional relative frequency, which are these guys, the conditional relative frequencies, uh, uh, to the percent of all students surveyed who uh, are girls. And the percent of all, the girls were 45%. So how does 30% compare to 45%? Because that's 30% of the girls like baseball, 37% uh, like uh, football. So so girls are less likely to prefer baseball, okay, because 30% is smaller than 45%. And girls are less likely to prefer football. And girls are more likely pre to prefer soccer right there, okay? They're more likely because 64% of the girls um, uh, were likely to, to prefer soccer. Okay, and there's only 45% of the girls that were surveyed right there. Let's try it with the boys now. So find the percent of all students who are boys. Well, okay, well, 45% uh, were girls. That means 55% are going to be the boys right there because it has to total 100% of the people surveyed right there. All right, so we'll do the same thing. Of the 20 kids who preferred ba baseball, 14 were boys. Okay, so 14 out of 20 is 70%. Of the 32 kids who preferred football, 20 of them were boys, so 62.5%, okay? Now remember, 55% of the people surveyed were, were boys, and then 35% of the boys uh, uh, liked soccer right there. So we're going to do the same thing, so interpret the results by comparing each conditional relative frequency, these uh, right here, these conditional relative frequencies, uh, to the percent of all students surveyed who were boys, okay? So... Since 70% is greater than the 55% of, of boys right here, then, then boys are more likely, there, there should be a space right there, to prefer ba uh, baseball. Boys are more likely to prefer football because 62.5% uh, of the boys uh, like football right there, and then boys are more likely uh, to prefer soccer right there, okay? Easy enough, you guys. All right, so how can the statement, 6 out of 20 students who prefer basketball are girls? be stated in a conditional relative frequency. Okay, well that just means given that a student prefers basketball, 30% of them are girls because 6 out of the 20 right there. Alright you guys, um, uh, if you are in my class, I'm going to assign you guys that. Alright, take care.